Again in Brooklyn as the city continues to crack down on COVID hot zones. Over the weekend, police started to issue summonses to people violating social distancing and mask orders. Eyewitness News reporter Candace McCowan is live in downtown Brooklyn with the very latest. Uh, good morning, Candace. Michelle, Mike, good morning to you. We've heard the promises of a crackdown, but this weekend we actually saw that crack crackdown in those cluster communities throughout Brooklyn and Queens where people were not following the governor's mandate. Take a look at this at the crackdown. The city tweeting that it issued 62 summonses from Friday to Sunday, totaling more than $150,000 in fines. Of those summonses, five were to non compliant religious congregations, houses of worship, and the red zone are limited to gatherings of 10 people. And over the weekend, a federal judge shot down a lawsuit brought by the Brooklyn Diocese accusing the state of infringing on its rights. Now, overnight protesters taking to the streets of Borough Park after activist Harold Heshi Tischler was arrested at his home Sunday night. He's charged with inciting to riot and unlawful imprisonment stemming from an attack on a journalist by protesters from last week. Now, Heshi somehow tweeting saying that they're, quote, keeping me here overnight and delayed my processing of the paperwork by the mayor and DA, calling it a political stunt, and protesters shouting, no Heshi, no peace. No one's closing their businesses, no one's closing the schools, we're not doing this anymore. We tried this, there's no evidence behind it, and uh, it doesn't work, so we're opening up. And if you have a problem with that, we'll see you in court. Yeah, and Heshi is expected to be in court here this morning, although it is not clear exactly what time today he will appear. Live this morning,